Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is going to be on this really pretty purple, sparkly, glam, fun, colorful, whatever you want to call it look. It is purple, it has purple glitter, it has wing liner, it has lashes, it has a whole glam. I really wanted to do something purple um, just because I feel like that's such a gorgeous color on dark brown eyes and even blue eyes. I really love purple. I feel like it could be a universal color depending on how you use it. This is my second voiceover, so I'm hoping that it kind of goes better than the first one, but we'll see. Voiceovers are actually a lot more trickier than I thought they would be, but I'm going to give it a go again just because I haven't done a voiceover in quite a while. This look starts out as a cut crease, but this is my very first time doing a cut crease. To be honest, it didn't really go very well, so I kind of just blended everything in, added more colors, kind of made it like a halo effect. You know, I'm definitely better at a halo look than I am a cut crease. I'm going to keep working on the cut crease, and hopefully in the next few videos I can get a cut crease video up. So I really hope you guys like it, and don't mind the lighting. It's currently 7 o'clock at night. I kind of waited too late in the day to start. Um, the sun's already going down. So if it seems dark in some parts of the video, I'm sorry. I'll, I, I apologize. I'm working on getting better lighting. You know, hang in there with me. So aside from all this rambling, if you guys want to see how I got this really pretty, sparkly, clam, fun, summertime look, then just keep watching. So as you guys know, I love going in with the cleanse prepped face, so my face is already ready to go. And I'm starting with the eyes, so of course I'm using my scotch tape. And I'm just ripping off a couple pieces, and I'm going to put those at the corner of my eye. This helps give me that sharp wing look, and it also helps when I apply my eyeliner, because I don't know how to apply eyeliner without the, the tape. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Neutral, and I'm using this on the lids as a primer. And I'm taking my Morphe Foundation Concealer Brush to blend this out on the lids. I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender just to help push it in a little bit more. And then I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm taking that lightest highlighting shade right in there. And again, just taking that Morphe Foundation Concealer Brush, I'm going to pack that color onto the lid to set it all. For my first transition shade, I'm going in with the Makeup Geeks eyeshadow in the color Creme Brulee and my Morphe blending brush. And I'm just going to pack that into the crease. As you guys know, I love this transition shade. I think it's so beautiful and so perfect and neutral for any skin tone. And then I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. And I'm taking that mauve color right there and I'm just going to also put that into the crease using my Morphe blending brush and this is just going to help bring the purple into the look that way the Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee doesn't make it too warm using that plum shade and my elf smudger brush and I'm just gonna focus that corner or I'm sorry that color on the outer corner this is gonna add more depth into the corner and some darkness And then I'm going in with my Studio Makeup on the Go Cool Down palette. And I'm taking that plum color again and I'm just going to put that right on top of the other one I just put on, right in the outer corner. And this is just going to make that a little bit darker. I'm going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my 
What brush is this? Royal Nanical Brush? This was the smallest eyeshadow brush that I could find at the moment. And I'm just putting that concealer on the back of my hand and then going in with the brush. And I was trying to be really precise with the concealer. So I packed on just a little bit at a time. That way I didn't go overboard or, you know, go above the crease. But I'm thinking, looking back on it, that maybe I should have put a little bit more on the crease. And then again, just going back in with that Shade and Light palette and that lightest cream shade. I'm using my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and I'm just setting that concealer. And then going back in with the Studio Makeup on the Go palette, I'm using that dark plum shade again. And then I'm going in with, what is this called? I'm not sure what these are called, I'm so sorry. I always use these because they're so beautiful, but I don't know what they're called and I can't find them anywhere. But any pretty true purple shimmer will work for this. And then I'm just using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set to help amplify the color a little bit. And I'm just putting that all over where I put the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I'm going in with my NYX Glitter Primer. And that same Royal Lanicle brush. Lanicle? Lanicle? And I'm just putting that in the middle of the eyelid. And then using a really pretty, almost like a lavender glitter. And I'm just focusing that on the center of the lid. And this is where I started to notice that it wasn't so much of a cut crease anymore. It was more of like a halo. So I just went in with that first purple shimmery shade and started blending that on the outer corner just to kind of blend all those colors together. And then I went in with my Sephora Black Liquid Liner and I did a wing liner on the top. And then I took off the pieces of tape and got a makeup wipe and just cleaned up all the fallout under my eyes in that eyeliner just a little bit. And then next I'm going in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but it's very good and it makes your lashes very fluffy and thick as well. So I'm just coating those lashes before I go in with fake lashes. And these are the Kiss lashes. And next I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this primer. My face was feeling really dry today. So I wanted some hydration to the face. I love it. It feels so good and cooling. And then I went in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, and I am in the shade Warm Beige. Put that on the back of my hand, and then went in with my Crown Foundation Brush. This brush is amazing, you guys. I love how smooth it looks, and this is probably one of the only brushes that I have that doesn't pack on too much product. I'm just dragging that down the neck and all over the face, rubbing it in. I think the circular motions help make it look smooth, so I love it. But just to be safe, I went in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender just to pack it all on again. And 
And then I went in with my Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. And I am in the shade Light. Once again, put that back on the back of my hand and then took my Morphe Conceal and Foundation Brush and just put that right under my eyes. Cover up those dark mom circles. <laughs> And then on my nose, my cupid's bow, forehead, and the chin. And then I blended that out with my beauty blender. cream contour. I'm using my usual Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour with my e.l.f. Concealer Foundation Brush and I'm just using that to contour the face as usual. So the cheeks and the forehead and the chin, all of the above. <laughs> And then just taking my Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow brush and I'm flipping it to the bottom half brush and that's like the pointy brush and I'm using that for the contour of the nose. And then I'm going in with my BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. You guys know I love this. It's the best cream highlighter that I've ever used and I'm just using my finger to pack that onto the cheeks. And then uh, my nose, Cupid's bow, and above the eyebrows. This is such a beautiful highlight to use, especially when you top it with another highlighter, like a powder highlighter. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then again, just using my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. Next, I'm going in with my RCMA Translucent Powder, no surprise, and my Pure Cosmetics Beauty Blender. And I love this sponge because it has that, that dip or that, that flat surface on that side, and I love using it to set the powder on my face. So I'm just setting the powder under my eyes and on my nose. And then around the mouth, basically everywhere that I crease, next I'm going in with the NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder and I'm in the shade Warm Beige again and I'm just taking that Morphe foundation brush, rubbing it in to the powder, patting it off, and then all over the skin. Well, all over where I didn't put the RCMA powder. And I love pushing it into the skin. That helps give it that real soft, smooth look. And then I'm taking my Morphe blush brush and I'm just blending out all the RCMA powder, dusting it all away. And then once again, going in with the shade and light contour palette and I'm taking all three of those contour shades and my wet and my, not my Wet n Wild, my Crown Deluxe Fan Brush. And I'm using that to contour the cheeks and the forehead and the chin. Love this brush. This is such a good brush to contour with. I love it. 
And then taking that Pure Cosmetics brush again and just using that to contour the nose with the powder. And I'm taking those three shades and mixing them together. Then just slightly dusting it on the nose. And for brows, I'm using the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. And I'm using that dark shade I always use in that little trio. And I'm just carving them out and lining them, and then I go in and color them in. And then to set my brows, I'm using the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fiber Gel. Love this brow gel, I think it's so pretty and it makes your lashes look so natural. Going back in with my Carly Bible highlighting palette, and I'm using that cream color to highlight the brow bone. I love using that cream color, I think it's so pretty and such a perf perfect brow bone highlight. And then I'm using that plum dark shade again, and my Morphe definer brush and I'm just gonna run that right under that water lash line This is gonna help with more of the dimension and then taking that purple shimmery shade First I'm gonna bake under the eyes because I didn't realize how much of a how much fallout this had. I'm just running that right over that plum shade. And then again, just dusting it away with my Morphe blush brush. And then to help bronze up the face a little bit more, I'm using my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the shade 720A Sunny. Love this bronzer. It's so good for summer and it's so beautiful and it makes your skin look so smooth. I love it. And it's only like two or three dollars at the drugstore. So definitely one you gotta pick up. And I'm just using my e.l.f. professional bronzing brush. And then I'm also using to bronze a face the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And again, I love this too, just as much as the NYC. It also helps my face look nice and smooth. And then I'm going in with my Morphe N9 Blush bra blush Palette, I'm sorry. And I'm using that middle shade with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm just gonna focus this on the apples of the cheek, blending it up to my temples. And then I'm using the Pacifica Natural Mineral Blush in the shade Wild Rose to go right on top of that Morphe blush. And this helps give me like a beautiful sum summer rosy pink. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Mascara for my bottom lashes. And then I'm also going to use this for the top lashes to blend my real lashes and the fake lashes together. I always do this step. And then to highlight the brow bone just a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I also love this highlighter for the brow bone. I think it gives it just the perfect amount of glow. And next I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette to highlight the face, but first I'm going to spray it with the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray, and then I'm going in with my Crown Deluxe Fan Brush, and applying that ever so lightly on the highest points of my cheeks and above the brow.
And then I'm taking my Real Techniques. I'm not sure if this is the highlighting brush or maybe an eyeshadow brush, but I'm using it for the rest of the shadow on, or the rest of the highlight on the face. And I'm not sure if I said it, but I'm using the Forever Young highlight in her palette. And then I'm going to clean up the contour just a little bit with the RCMA powder and the Pure Cosmetics sponge. And then I'm just going to blend all the powders together. And then to set the face, I'm using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. Both of them are so good in their drugstore. And then for lips, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Bear It All. Another favorite and then on to go on top of that I'm using my NYX soft matte lip cream in this sh in the color Instable. This is like a rosy nude color and then for gloss I'm using my NYX butter gloss in the shade creme brulee. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. I love how it turned out. I love the glitter and the shimmer on the lids. I think it's so beautiful. I love the purple. I think it's perfect for summer. I love how glowy the skin looks. So if you guys like it too, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye loves.